don't know, I think, I guess it was 2010 ish. I can't remember what I ate for breakfast. So I'm just guessing it was 2010, but uh, he was doing a retirement match. And out of all the people he picked to wrestle, he could have picked Cowboy Bob or Steamboat or, uh, you know, Piper or any, anybody. Piper was even on the show. And I think so was Cowboy Bob, if I, if I recall. And he picked little old me, just this guy that had a cup of coffee at WWE. And it was his night. It was for him. And he spent the whole weekend talking me off the ledge. I was crying like a baby on his shoulder because a very good friend of mine had taken his own life and he was no longer on the planet. So instead of Jake enjoying, you know, his match, which to me, uh, respectfully uh -huh. to ROH and everybody that put on that show, it should have been a Madison Square Garden. It still should be a Madison Square Garden against somebody better than the likes of me. But that day, he, it wasn't, he wasn't celebrating himself. He was babysitting uh, a crying carnival freak literally backstage in the hall in the hotel room in the ring and that that's the kind of man jake is jake uh when it came to time to select somebody for a retirement match um you know as, as he mentioned there's there's all these guys around what yeah. made you decide that simbody was the guy that you wanted to end your career with well you gotta pick somebody you love man you know and uh i love this piece of shit oh thanks buddy back back, back at you uncle laurie back at yeah you. yeah 